Russia's newest air defense weapon does not announce itself with smoke trails or radar pings. It arrives without sound, without recoil, and without warning. On the contested edges of the Ukrainian front, where FPV drones now hunt in packs and loitering munitions circle like vultures, Moscow has quietly introduced a weapon designed not to chase the swarm, but to erase it. A beam instead of a missile, light instead of shrapnel. The Chinese-made Norinco Silent Hunter laser air defense system has entered the war. On December 17, 2025, Russian outlet MASH released footage that did more than confirm rumors. It showed the Nomads Special Forces Unit conducting live field trials near the Ukrainian border, a truck-mounted laser system swiveling upward, tracking targets invisible to the naked eye. Seconds later, drones vanished, the optics blinded, airframes burned, guidance lost. According to Russian claims, the system has neutralized hundreds of Ukrainian FPV drones and loitering munitions over a three-month operational window since October 2024. No reloads, no interceptors, no audible signature, just results. This deployment is not a curiosity. It is a signal, and it speaks to two accelerating realities of the war, the brutal economics of drone saturation warfare and the deepening military technological convergence between Moscow and Beijing. Ukraine's battlefield strategy has become increasingly drone-centric. Low-cost FPV systems, reconnaissance UAVs, and improvised loitering munitions such as Shedrick and Skywalker X-8 are now heavily employed at the tactical level to probe Russian air defenses, target artillery positions, and seek vulnerabilities in layered systems such as S-400 and Pantsir. This approach is driven by cost asymmetry, compelling Russia to respond with higher-value interceptors against comparatively inexpensive aerial threats. While tactically disruptive, the strategy relies on sustained drone attrition and becomes increasingly inefficient as Russia adapts with lower-cost countermeasures and layered defensive solutions. And Silent Hunter definitely breaks that equation. Developed by China's defense industrial ecosystem, variously attributed to Poly Technologies and the Chinese Academy of Engineering Physics, the Silent Hunter is not experimental technology. First unveiled publicly at IDEX 2017, it has already been exported to Iran and Saudi Arabia, refined through real-world deployments, and quietly matured into a battlefield-ready directed energy weapon. In Russian service, the system reportedly operates at around 30 kilowatt, with higher power variants reaching up to 100 kilowatt, capable of piercing steel and burning through composite airframes. Its operational concept is brutally efficient. Radar detects targets out to 5 kilometers. Electro-optical sensors track and blind UAV cameras at up to 3 kilometers. Within roughly 1.5 kilometers, the laser transitions from soft kill to hard kill, overheating control surfaces, frying electronics, and igniting structural failure. A drone that enters this envelope does not explode theatrically. It simply stops existing as a functional weapon, and it does so at negligible cost per shot. Mounted on a mobile 6x6 tactical truck, Silent Hunter can deploy or shut down in under 5 minutes, with some Russian operators claiming readiness in as little as 2. It sustains engagements for several minutes at a time, switches targets in under 6 seconds, and operates without emitting radar energy that could reveal its position. In a battle space saturated with electronic warfare, counter-battery fire, and ISR platforms, that silence is not a luxury, it is survival. For Russian commanders, the implications are immediate. Drone-heavy sectors like Donbass, Crimea, and energy infrastructure corridors no longer require constant missile coverage. Silent Hunter slots seamlessly into layered air defense, standing below S-400 and above small arms fire, covering the exact gap Ukraine has been exploiting. Every FPV burned by a laser is one less interceptor wasted, one more Iskander launcher protected, one more substation kept online.
This operational shift also carries consequences that extend beyond tactics and into the economics of air defense itself. One of the starkest dimensions of modern air defense warfare is the economic imbalance between threat costs and interception costs. As drone swarms become a dominant feature of the Ukraine conflict, this cost asymmetry has forced military planners to rethink traditional approaches. Even inexpensive unmanned systems now pose a significant financial drain on defenders when engaged with high-end interceptors. Open source estimates show that basic FPV and attack drones typically cost between $400 and $50,000 per unit, depending on complexity and armament, with many tactical FPVs averaging around $400 to $500 each, as published in the Defense blog. At the same time, conventional surface-to-air missiles and interceptors designed for high-value targets carry drastically higher price tags. Short-range defensive missiles such as those fired from Pantsir or TOR systems can range from tens of thousands to upward of $80,000 per shot. But medium and long-range interceptors frequently escalate into the hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars per engagement. For example, Western interceptor missiles like the Patriot Pac-3 and NASAM's AIM-120 variants, systems that Ukraine currently employs to defend against cruise missiles and high-speed aerial threats, range from approximately $1 million to $4 million per interceptor, according to open-source cost tables. Even legacy Soviet air defense missiles, such as those launched by Book Systems, which remain in Russian inventories, carry unit costs in the hundreds of thousands of dollars when factoring life cycle and operational expenses. In stark contrast, directed energy weapons, like the Silent Hunter, promise per engagement costs measured in single-digit dollars or low tens of dollars, largely limited to the energy consumed during firing rather than expended ammunition. When framed alongside the economics of drone swarms, the disparity becomes dramatic. A $500 drone versus a $1 million interceptor versus a laser shot costing less than $10. This massive cost advantage underlines why low OPEX systems are increasingly attractive for counter UAV roles. It flips the economic equation of attrition that has plagued traditional missile defense in drone-saturated battlefields. In this era, Silent Hunter is not a standalone solution, but a force multiplier that reshapes the defensive calculus at the tactical level. So, that's for today's episode. See you on another report from the battlefield.